Good morning and welcome to eighth grade math class. Today we're going to be talking about finding the unknown side links of the Pythagorean theorem. We are going into the unknown. We will be solving for the unknown. It'll be a great time. Our objective for today is that students will be able to use the Pythagorean theorem But before we get started, what is the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We will be using this for every single problem that we you do today. So first problem, I have that we need to find the missing side length. So I have B down here that I do not know what it is. So then I have these two measures, but one of them is A and one of them is C. Which one would C be? 10, because that's the longest side length, which would then make 8A. So the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So now if A equals 8, B we don't know, and C equals 10, I'm going to plug each of what I do know into the Pythagorean theorem. So if A is 8, that would be H squared. Plus, I do not know what B is, so I leave it as B squared. And C is 10, so now I have 10 squared. So now I simplify. So 8 squared, that's 8 times 8, which would be 64. Plus, I still just leave that as B squared. And 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100. Now, I'm ready to start solving this equation because I have nothing else that I can simplify. So what needs, uh, 100 is already by itself, and I need to get B by itself. So that means I need to move 64. 64 right now is positive. So how am I going to move it to the other side? By subtracting. So if I subtract 64 on both sides, it cancels out over here. So on the left side, I'm left with B squared. And 100 minus 64 is 36. Now, I have b squared equals 36, but I don't want what b squared is. I want just what b equals. So to find the opposite of squaring would be to take the square root. So when I take the square root, I still have to do it to both sides. So that cancels out. So now I just have b equals. The square root of 36, that is a number multiplied by itself that equals 36. So the square root of 36 is 6 because 6 times 6 equals 36. So in this case, B equals 6. And I could plug this back in. I You could do 8 squared plus 6 squared and see if that equals 10 squared. I'll let you do that on your own to double check yourself. Next question, same process. I need to find the missing side length. So again, I have B, B down here that I don't know what it is. And so which one of these side lengths would be C? 20, which would mean that A is 16. And I know that C is, that 20 is C because it's opposite of that right angle, but also because it's the longest side length. So I again use A, the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is 16, so I have 16 plus B squared, and that is equal to 20 squared because that is what C is. So now I'm ready to start multiplying everything out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is 16 squared, which is 16 times 16. 16 times 16 is 256. I do not know what B is, so I leave that as B squared. And now I have 20 squared, which is 20 times 20, and that equals 400. Now I can't simplify anymore. So what do I need to do here? Subtract 256 on both sides. So on one side, it cancels out. And so I am left with B squared. And then the other side, I now have 400 minus 256. So what does that equal? 144, great job. So now that I have that B squared equals 144, how do I find out what just B equals? you take the square root of both sides. So the square root of b squared, well, those cancel each other out. So I'm left with b equals. And what number multiplied by, by itself equals 144, which is the same thing as asking, what is the square root of 144? That's 12 because 12 times 12 equals 
144. Now, how can you check yourself to make sure that B really does equal 12, that we didn't make a mistake? How can I check myself? By plugging um, A, B, and C back into our original um, equation for the Pythagorean theorem. So doing 16 squared plus 12 squared and seeing if that really does equal 20 squared. Again, just like the last time, I will let you guys do that on your own instead of taking up valuable time on these videos. Okay, another example. This time I am given A, and but I, no, I'm given that I need to find A. So I have B and I have C. So now again, starting with the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared needs to equal C squared. I do not know what A squared is, so I leave A squared B equals 8, so I have a squared plus 8 squared needs to equal 17 squared. What is my next step going to be? My next step, I leave a squared, but I need to do what? 8 squared. 8 squared is 8 times 8, and that equals 64. And then I need to do 17 squared, which is 17 times 17, and that is 289. Now, I'm ready to move step across. So 289 is by itself. I need to figure out what a squared is because I need to get A by itself. So right now I'm going to start by doing what? Subtracting 64 because I want that to cancel out. So when I subtract 64 on both sides, that cancels out. So I have A squared equals 289 minus 64 equals what? 225. Now I have the a squared equals 225. So now I need to take the square root of both sides because that is the opposite of squaring. That cancels out. So I have a equals what number multiplied by itself equals 225? Otherwise known as what is the square root of 225? That equals 15 because 15 times 15 equals 225. That one's a little bit harder for you to just know off the top of your head because it is a larger number that we might not be as familiar with. So A would equal 15. And again, you can plug all your numbers back into the Pythagorean theorem to see if we got the correct answer or not. Now for the last question, I want you to try to do this one on your own. So remember that the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared squared, and you are given what everything you need to know to figure out what B equals. So go ahead and try that on your own. Hopefully, you were able to do at least the basic part by yourself by plugging in 3 for A and plugging in 5 for C. So then we have 3 squared plus B squared equals 5 squared. 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, and then we subtract 9 on both sides. At this point, we have the B squared equals 16. So I know that this is the part that is probably the most new to us, is just taking the square root and recognizing that that is the opposite of squaring or the inverse operation. So I take the square root of both sides, the square and the square root cancel out. So I have B equals the square root of 16 is a number multiplied by itself that equals 16. And that would be four because four times four equals 16. So B equals four. And this is our most popular triangle the three, four, five triangle that I told you is the most common Pythagorean triple. I hope that all of this makes sense. If not, of course, you know what to do to get a hold of me. So you do that. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.